Some say that restorative justice is a type of therapy. What do you think? Restorative justice is often therapeutic, but it's not therapy. We train our facilitators to realize the difference. Even those who are therapists have to realize that when they're facilitating a conference, they're not there to do therapy. They're there to facilitate a conference. We make sure that people have therapy opportunities when they need it, but it's really important that it not be seen as therapy, but it often is therapeutic as people are transformed. The research shows that victims are much less traumatized after that, they, they are much less fearful, and the offenders have a much better understanding of what they did and so forth. So it's not therapy, it often is therapeutic, but it is important to remember that it often, that the participants often have experienced trauma. Both the victim and offender have experienced trauma in their lives, and so particularly as the offenses get more serious, we make sure our facilitators are trained to understand trauma, how it works, to recognize it, to make referrals when necessary, and so forth. So it's not therapy, it is often therapeutic, but it often involves trauma. Our program has began to realize how much trauma work is part of restorative justice. We have a program called STAR that uh, trains community leaders and others about how trauma operates in our lives and our societies. And we've come to realize that much offending behavior is, is a result of trauma as well. So the trauma dimension is really important, but the process is not therapy.